Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download Neuron and Anaconda for programming computational neuroscience. So you want to do the things in this order. You want to download Neuron first and then download Anaconda. Make sure you don't have either one downloaded on your computer before you start. If you do, just uninstall them or delete the folders. So the first step is to go to Download Neuron. So go to a web browser, type in neuron.yale.edu. You're going to see a page like this. So you can go to the Download tab. And here you're going to see some options for Microsoft Windows, either a 32 bit or 64 bit option. To figure out what kind of computer that you have, you go down here to your search bar, type in settings, and you're going to see a window like this. So you can click on your system, scroll down to about, and right in here is under system type is where you're going to figure out what kind of operating system you have. It'll either be 32-bit or 64-bit. In my case, I have 64-bit, so I'm going to close this window, go back to here, and left-click on 64-bit Microsoft Windows Neuron. It'll download a link, so you click on this. You might get an error like this, but that's okay. So this tells you where it's going to install Neuron off of the C drive in a folder called NRN. So click Next. You want to select Set DOS Environment and click Install. Neuron should download in less than a minute. Once it's done, click Close. And then make sure that it downloaded properly. You can go to your File Explorer, go to your C drive, and here you have your new NRN folder. So this is Neuron. You can go into the Demo folder and launch a demo. So this shows us that everything is working correctly. You don't have to worry about what these boxes mean right now. So if you just go to this black box and close it, everything will go away. OK, so we've completed step one. Now we're going to do step two, which is to download a software program called Anaconda, which contains the popular programming language Python, along with a lot of other useful libraries. So to get to Anaconda, just type it into Google. The first link that comes up will be from continuum.io forward slash downloads. You can download Anaconda for Windows right here. And again, you're going to get options for 64-bit or 32-bit installers. You want to pick the one that corresponds to your system. And make sure you pick Python 2.7 version. For me, this will be the 64-bit version of Python 2.7. So this is going to download a link. It's going to take a few minutes because it's very large. So I'll pause the video and come back when it's done. OK, now that that's done downloaded, we can click here. And we'll get a little wizard to walk us through the process. Click Next. Click I Agree. Install for just me. Next. This is going to show you where it will download. So it should be C colon backslash users backslash your username here backslash Anaconda 2. Click Next. Make sure both of these boxes are checked. And click Install. Again, this is going to take a few minutes, so I'll pause and come back when it's done. Okay, so Anaconda installation 
finished. So we can click Next. Go ahead and uncheck that and click Finish. So now we have Anaconda installed. We can go look for it, just to be sure. So go to your C drive, go to your Users folder, and then this should have your name. And then here is the Anaconda 2. So this has a bunch of libraries and softwares that we're not going to use, but are possibly useful to us. Um, the main one being Python. So that's all there, so we can close that. So just to recap, we've downloaded Neuron. Now we've downloaded Anaconda. So now we need to look at something called environment variables. You can find these by going here and typing environment variables. You'll see a little blue computer box pop up. Click Environment Variables. And here you have several variables that probably will not need to be changed, but if you have trouble, this is where you go. So your path will have some variables there. Make sure it has this one. That's the most important. Those other ones can stay. And then make sure your Python path is set to this. OK. So now we're going to open the Anaconda prompt. Just type in Anaconda, and it's the first thing that pops up. So this is the Anaconda prompt. It's going to take a second to load. So you know it loads whenever this line comes up. So the first thing you want to do is type in Python and push Enter. So here. You get some lines about Python and then three arrows that point to the right. This means that the Python is working. The second thing you want to do is type import neuron. I M P O R T N E U R O N. Okay, and then push enter. If your system variables are set up correctly, which they should be, you'll get this information about Neuron, and then the three arrows will reappear. If you don't get this, don't worry. You just need to make sure your environment variables are set up in just the way that I have mine set up here, so that your Python path says this, and your path includes this one. These ones are okay too. But make sure it has all of them. Okay? So, to recap, we downloaded Neuron, then we downloaded Anaconda, we looked at our environment variables, and we tested it out. So, now you should be ready to learn a little bit more about Python in the next video. Thanks for watching.